if you really want to ruin uh, your day, really screw up your, your morning processes, slice your finger open. Uh, apparently my bandage held, I didn't bleed, so bleeding stopped. This bandage seems fine, um, that was the one I put on last night. I'm not gonna chance anything, I'm not gonna mess with this. Um, this sucks. Stop the planet, I want to get off. Leland Yee, scumbag of the decade, was just sentenced to five years for accepting bribes and agreeing and saying that he could acquire automatic weapons from the Philippines for FBI agents that were posing as criminals. Weed growing, drug trafficking criminals. You know, I don't really care about weed, but regardless, there's a law against it. People don't want Five years! That's it! Come on, bro. In 1,000 feet, right to the right. That's not how you do this, guys. I've never seen someone do something so reckless on the freeway on a motorcycle. Are you kidding? I understand you guys gotta go to a funeral, but that's not, it's right lane. You just stay in the right lane. Jesus. Good thing I got that on video, I guess. What the hell? And Leia has now asked me to go to Ralph's here and pick her up some lunch or something. It's just something. Do, think, do St. Patrick's Day right. Get a box of Jameson. Bingo. Go, yeah, you, go. Jesus. Let me see if I can express, explain succinctly why Leland Yee is a huge big piece of human garbage. Senator Li Lin Yi is one of the most outspoken proponents for the assault weapons ban. He was involved in our assault weapons ban in California and up until the point that he got arrested, actively went and politicked for the banning of semi-automatic rifles, not just assault weapons. When he described what assault weapon was, he meant semi-automatic rifle. So there's his platform. He's an anti-gunner. He uses that to get votes. He gets votes in the San Francisco area. He's a senator from California, right? So what does that mean? What we can take away from that? Well, he probably believes that the government is not a concern to civilians and that they'll protect you and they'll take care of you. And so you don't need these rifles because that's that's the explicit purpose, or one of the major purposes for these rifles. So, understanding who he is as a public figure, his non-criminal persona. Now, splash that in with what we've learned from his arrest. What was he doing? Well, he was accepting bribes for political favors. Those political favors were for criminals who wanted to grow marijuana and distribute marijuana. And then he also agreed to traffic machine guns, his words, fully automatic weapons from the Philippines. I want that to sink in here because the juxtaposition of these two personas is amazing. And it's what makes people distrust the government and dislike the system so much. When I make my statements about how I support volunteerism and I want to reduce the power of the government, it is people like Leland Yi that I use as the poster child for why this massive government system, massive government powers, and all of this bureaucracy should be removed. If Leland Yi is the penultimate example of the total breakdown of government and, and elected officials and the corruption that can occur inside the human mind and be acted upon, and paid for by the taxpayers, if he's the penultimate, and, and, and society, much like the government, is just a swath of, of varying different gradients of people, and there's obviously really good people involved, but there's all this middle area 
where you have politicians that ah, I don't really mind a kickback or ah, I don't really mind turning a blind eye to this. Ah, I don't really mind, you know, whatever, the corruption. So if you have somebody like Leland Yee who wants to take your guns away, your right to guns, while at the same time arming a criminal with fully automatic rifles without going through any of the government process that he knows, because remember, he's against it. So he's supposed to be an educated elected official. He's against it. You have to understand, you have to get it. Like it has to get inside your head that maybe the system is broken. Maybe we shouldn't be allowing these people so much control over our lives. Maybe we shouldn't have a handful of people making laws that strip away your freedoms. And then, and then here's the best part. When I did a video, I've done multiple videos on Lee Yi, but when he got arrested, I took the criminal counts and I added up the minimum sentences for those counts. And they tallied at least 27 years, 25 to 27 years. He got five years. He's gonna go to a club fed, not, he's not gonna have fun, he's not gonna be with his family, but he is not going to county, he's not going to anywhere where he's gonna be put in general pop, nothing like that, for five years. Does that sink in to everybody? Does everybody, does everybody understand what, what that means? It means that if you're powerful and you're well known, the judicial system that judges us, that, that comes into our house and takes us away, and takes our freedoms away through violence and then locks you up for, through violence, looks at him as less of a threat than if I did what he did. I'd go away for the maximum. They wouldn't put me away for the minimum. They'd put me away for the maximum. Or you, they'd put you away for the maximum. Even if they put you away for the minimum, that's, that shadows in comparison to the five years that he's gonna do. What was one of the reasons why the judge said he's only gonna put him away for five years? The prosecution only wanted eight years. That wasn't even good enough. They had to dock it down to five because Leland Yee's wife is ill. She's gonna be sick for five years. Understand the hypocrisy here, guys. This is irony, sad, like, sad irony you can cut with a knife. Someone who actively legislates to take your guns away gets arrested for saying he's going to get illegal guns from the Philippines and give them to a criminal. He is the pen ultimate version of a politician completely out of control. And he only gets five years. We should be screaming <laughs> into, into everything you can, screaming at our government to not do this. Either work the laws, like the laws were written, or get rid of the laws. And while you're at it, get rid of yourself. Like, why? It's probably because I'm from California and I hate the laws here regarding guns. I hate the laws here regarding most of them, but regarding guns are incredibly bad. But this is just outrageous. It is just outrageous. It's one thing to have a comic book villain for a senator and he gets caught. Bravo. Bravo to the FBI for this long-term sting operation that they put together. But then to turn around and give him a slap on the wrist of five years, and it is a slap on the wrist. Leland Yi, you are a human piece of garbage. You are a human piece of garbage. You are a scumbag. You are why everybody distrusts the government. You are what makes governments bad. You are what ruins governments for the people. You are the epitome, epitome of what's wrong with societies. When people come together to try and better themselves and you have those outliers that wanna do things for themselves at the detriment of the people that they've come together to build something with, you, 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 you are that, that human defect, that, that mental human defect that prevents people from living happily with each other. Which is why I say we have to cut back on the power of the government. This is why, guys. Because of human pieces of garbage like Li Ling Yi. Thanks a lot, Li Ling Yi. Yeah, succinct my ass, right? Like I can make a succinct, 
a, a short, succinct point about Li Ling Yi without going on a tirade. I just finished watching Spectre right now, the new James Bond movie. It's kind of long and meandering, and that girl seemed to fall in love with James very quickly. Very odd. Very odd movie. It's like there was more scenes there that they didn't they didn't actually cover, so you assume that they actually have built a relationship other than one scene where he meets her, then saves her, then they're in the train together, and then they have sex. It's like, okay. It's a long day. I am going to bed. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.